Our mission at the South Dakota Highway Patrol is quite simple, to serve and protect the public. But it goes much deeper than that. There's a lot of things that we do out there on a daily basis to be examples for the communities that we serve and the people that we work with. We have an opportunity to have an impact statewide. Uh, we have troopers in numerous communities all across the state. Uh, so we're not limited to just one type of community or one size of community. The South Dakota Highway Patrol interacts with our communities in a variety of ways. Uh, troopers are constantly engaged with local community leaders to see exactly what type of things can be done in their areas and things that the troopers might be able to be involved with to help them really improve the overall, overall quality of their life. Uh, we at the South Dakota Highway Patrol really ha have a firm belief in building relationships with all of our tribal uh, reservations across the state. And we've had a lot of success with the Crow Creek Tribe, uh, which is out in the central part of our state, where we've partnered with them, where troopers are allowed to go onto the reservation and work with tribal authorities at the request of the tribal council to help with things such as the annual powwow and different events that they have going on throughout the year. The powwow was the first event where we worked together and uh, brought the law enforcement together, but it has continued and we've had several um, calls for services, uh, emergencies uh, that we have responded to. We have assisted them uh, on the reservation, providing security while uh, Crow Creek Law Enforcement investigates and they have assisted us by responding to accidents and things like that and providing first aid uh, before we can get there. So far it's been an excellent relationship um, between our tribe and the Highway Patrol. Um, we've had issues, um, whether it be drug related or some serious, other serious violent crimes that have taken place where we've been able to call the Highway Patrol and in a moment's notice, they come and help us. It has gone through uh, three different tribal governments and for a new tribal government to come in and take office and still want to continue that relationship, I think that says everything. Fatal Free 46 was a, an operation that we came up with uh, to battle a, a problem roadway that we had had. Uh, the roadway had been the unfortunate uh, location of five fatal accidents with six fatalities in a 12-month span. One of the worst things that we can do on the Highway Patrol is, is, is ride a fatal crash. Um, they're extremely difficult, whether it's one vehicle or two, they're hard on the first responders, they're hard on the trooper uh, responding to the crash. A, a fatal crash is, is never easy. It was a road that we knew had been lacking in enforcement and we needed to put something together that would slow down the crashes, slow down the public and uh, actually make a difference and, and hopefully our goal was to to reduce and or prevent more fatal crashes. We did that by enforcing state laws tirelessly. Uh, we set up message boards asking people to obey the laws. Uh, we did enforcement campaigns and it, it, it was a huge impact on the communities. Um, our first responders respond to those crashes. Sometimes they involve their own loved ones uh, and sometimes they don't, but it wears on people mentally, physically and emotionally. I think what distinguishes the Highway Patrol is the pride we take in public service. Uh, and it's, it's just not all about numbers and uh, enforcement. I think that enforcement is applied with common sense, but for the most part, we are there as public servants and we recognize that that's our role. Uh, there's a lot of pride in being a state trooper. Uh, there's a lot of work that goes into being a state trooper. But it's an important job. It's our job to keep the highways safe. Uh, the public expects us to do our job, and that's, that's what we do. We hold ourselves to very high standards. The future of the South Dakota Highway Patrol is very bright. Uh, we're really fortunate to uh, attract some quality applicants. I think that the relationship that we have with the citizens of South Dakota is a strong one. Uh, we have a lot of trust built with the community members all across our state. And while law enforcement is struggling nationwide at the particular moment, that one thing that we've noticed and we're really proud of here in South Dakota is that the trust and the relationships and the bond that we have with our citizens is as strong as it's ever been.